I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Hey, what it do, world? You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I hope all is going well with y'all lives, personally and professionally. Um, but, you know, there's not going to be no graphics in here and no music or nothing like that. This is just me coming to speak to y'all about uh, everything that's going on in battle rap right now as far as with this whole situation with math. And um, Kiki, I know a lot of people have been hitting me up and wanting to know, yo, what you think, what you think, woo, 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 you think he's guilty? He did it, didn't he do it? Oh my goodness. Now, I, uh, while I have a platform that's pretty large, I feel like I do have the right to hold my opinion until both sides have spoke. I know a lot of people wanted the answer right there on the spot, but I feel like math deserved his chance to say something about what was going on because i mean i seen a video from her and i seen um his live yesterday now while these are disgusting vile accusations um we live in a society where automatically people are going to pick sides you know what i'm saying some people are gonna say oh hell no ain't no way he did that and then there's other people that are going to say you know the opposite way around he's a rapist whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, in the court of public opinion, everything that you say is going to be used against you. Whether you, you know, say the right thing, whether you say the wrong thing, whether you lawyer up. Everybody wants to answer now, 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 now. Now, here's, here's my opinion. Um, Math said in his live, now, first and foremost, he went live yesterday. It was like almost an hour, it was almost an hour and a half long. He played music, he played every goddamn song that he probably ever recorded. Now that was nasty, but get your ones. I I, I, I see there's a method to the madness. He played almost every fucking song he ever, this nigga played every song that he ever had. This, you should waste my motherfucking time, nigga. Huh? You're cutting into your mother's fucking time, nigga. Yeah. You don't come up and ground. He played shit that probably he never even heard before, before he got to the point. Now that promotional thing, I don't know, but uh, he did say in his video, he said he's innocent. He said, you know, he's gonna get a lawyer. He said that he's gonna um, fight this. He has support, you know what I mean? He's talking to his family, his, his, um, his girl was there. And, um, you know, it was probably pretty an emotional time for him. Um, he basically did not tell the whole scenario, but he talked about smoothies, LOM shorts, and a shower. Now look, I don't know if the smoothie spot had a shower in it, and LOM shorts, and a pot juice shirt. I don't know. I never been in those smoothie spots that have showers in it, but you know what? That's another story for another day. So, um, basically, what I will say is, uh, when you're dealing with something as serious as rape or being accused of such, um, it's a serious allegation. Um, you know, we I feel sorry for all of the victims who do, you know, go through things like this in this world, and um, I hope that there's some kind of solution that, that comes about with this because people are affected not just temporarily, there's long-term effects for this, you know what I'm saying? Math said, my heart goes out to the women who have actually experienced something terrible like that. May God grant you justice. I ain't the one though. Go find those guys, I'm too nice, that's my problem. So this is clearly two different sides where, you know, one is saying, that he did this gruesome, vile, horrible thing, and the other one is saying, I have no rec, what, what are you talking about? I didn't do nothing like this. So, I, uh, my, my message to the, 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 the brothers and sisters out there, you, we gotta stop putting ourselves in positions and being around situations where shit like this could even potentially happen. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's gonna have their own. You got the Twitter lawyers, the website warriors, you got a fucking you got feminists, you got uh, you know, you got you got both sides that are going in. You know what I mean? People gonna have their opinion. This is the blah, 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 blah. he should be locked up. Yada yada yada. And then you have she's lying. She's only trying to get money. Hey, well if she cared about it, why she ain't do it? You're gonna have people that's gonna have their opinions, you know what I'm saying? But I think for math, you know, he's got to 
realize that when you get yourself in a position as far as like, I know people are saying, well, who's he? He's nobody for somebody to lie on. Why would they be lying? I've seen and heard every single scenario in the past 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody's going to have their own opinion. But I feel like, and I feel like rushing to judgment on something that none of us was there. We were not there. You know what I'm saying? We, we were not there. You know what I'm saying? Now, do she she deserves support too. If, if this is something that she is saying happened, she deserves support. She deserves people to hear her side of the story. While at the same time, you know what I'm saying, moving towards justice. Because the same thing, here's the, here's the deal, right? Math is saying in his video, after all the red tape, the two hours of music, Every, after all of that he's saying, he said he was innocent. He said that I did not do this. He didn't, I mean, he didn't vehemently go into details and, you know, break down every single lot that I've sketched about, but he ultimately said he was innocent and that he was going to speak to his lawyer and, you know, these things are going to um, play out how they play out. Daylight made a free, did you guys see Daylight's freestyle or words that he put together like he he kind of daylight is in, he's in a different bag like he he definitely is in a different bag but um i will say this um my i don't really have i have no side like i'm not siding with anyone i'm siding with right so if he did not do this then he deserves his chance to be able to speak to the world to let people know to show what he can but it's really hard like these things are so, so fickle that it's hard to prove. Like y'all saying math needs proof or y'all saying she needs proof. What is she supposed to have a videotape or like what is she supposed to have that's really going to be the definitive proof that's going to help y'all? I mean, I, I, she said somewhere that she had like an audio recording of him apologizing. This is why I say as fellas, we got to stop being in position. Like why I'm not going to be nowhere with a female that puts you vulnerable if it's not consensual like you got to have that thing they even got a consent app i, I, I looked it up yesterday there's a consent app you might want to get the download y'all might want to go to the app store or something man where you know you i don't know what you got to do to make it legitimate because the last thing you want in the world is to be accused of something because the one you know like daylight said once you get something like this, it's not going to detach itself. Like any battle that he has forever, this is going to be a, the angle that's been created is never going to go away. Because if the if somebody doesn't like you anyway, if people do not like you anyway, you, you and they come up, they have an angle like this, they're going to use that forever. That's not going to go away. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 just, just not going to go away. And um, he did say specifically that he was never arrested never spoke to any police whatsoever was never questioned never detained never even questioned now that to me is kind of that that's 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 different because even on a complaint you would think that the police would at least go question somebody so for them to never even question him at all like not even give him a call on the phone this is the sheriff's department we wanted to talk to you about some things that's kind of weird because if i get into a spat with my neighbor over parking spots the police are at least gonna go ask the question they'll at least go ask the question it's happened before they had a, we had a big ass party one time as a park spot and you know we wasn't agreeing about it because it was a public street my neighbor felt that somebody shouldn't be parked directly in front of our house. There was a lot of cars and we just went back and forth. We cool now, mad love, but we wasn't seeing eye to eye about the parking and the police was called. They at least came to question. They didn't, you know, nobody got in trouble or nothing like that, but you better believe they came and at least asked. So for him to never have been questioned, he has to have, you have to realize that, uh, that that does play a part in this you know what i'm saying um but like i said neither here nor there i have no sides in this but i realize that people want my expert opinion and i'm not an expert in this type of shit i'm not a lawyer i have no i'm not a twitter lawyer i have no legality I'm about having fun i'm about joking you know what i'm saying shit like that and um 
Hold on. Get some water for the slaughter. I'm sure my guy, Showtime SP, will have his opinion. And when he does, you know, we can um speak about it. But I didn't want to drag my opinion out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I because I don't really feel like that, because you have like a lot of people who are just time they hear something like this, they're jumping out the window. They're gonna make a bunch of blogs and try to get as much money and the views and all of that shit as they can. For me, I've been blessed enough to be at a point where like just the quick I need to be the first one to talk about a situation like this is not really it ain't really that beneficial. It's cool, but it's not it's not needed. And I know there's people who's like, well, why do we talk about this? Because you have both sides, even when it comes to talking about this. There's awareness, and then there's the fact that he's a battle rapper. Like, did y'all, some people, sometimes people get mad when we talk about battle rappers that get into real life situations. Well, you, you guys watch ESPN, you guys watch Fox Sports 1, you guys watch all of these channels, you guys watch uh, First Take, you guys watch Skip and Shannon. If LeBron James was in this situation, would it not be on every single sports channel? If James Harden, you know what I'm saying, if when Ezekiel Elliott or one of these guys in the NFL gets locked up, it's on every single sports channel. They talk about it. They give their opinion. The reason why is because that's what they do. Nick Wright, Stephen A, he's going to be the first one. Oh my goodness, oh goodness. LeBron James was locked up last night. He was accused of rape. Now you got a wife at home. That's what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel a way about us talking about it especially if it's in a respectful manner well we're not i haven't disrespected math in this i would not do that because even though he's going through the situation i don't have no issues with him we're cool whenever i see math it's what up boom 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 he shot at me out on his podcast you know what i'm saying uh if you're cooking they booking things like that so with that being said if i've had respect for him and what he's got going on professionally when something like this happens, I'm not going to jump out the window, you know what I'm saying? And then also her, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's been someone who's been in the battle rap culture, you know what I'm saying? She has a lot of people that support her. And at the same time, she deserves to continue to get support at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's mentally, whether it's through, you know, therapy, or if it's something that's legitimate and she has to prove through justice. If it's something that he legitimately did, and she can prove it, he's gone. But at the same time, you have to realize the court of public opinion is a jail. It's not a real jail, but it's a jail minus the bar. It's a lifetime scar. It's one of them things that you're not going to get away from or get around. This is not something that you want. You know what I'm saying? The things, the three things in life you never want to be called is a rapist, a pedophile, or a snitch. Like, you don't want to be any of those three because you, you can't get away from that. You cannot. Like, those are three things that you can't shake. So, um, Mav said he's innocent. Overall, the gist of this video. Mav said he's innocent. Mav said he's going to get his lawyers in this and he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna handle it. But um, the video was kind of nasty. It was like almost an hour and a half long where he really didn't say much. Uh, he just played every single song that uh, that he ever made. I mean, niggas was in the comments like, oh, you might as well start playing surf shit. You know what I'm saying? I think niggas say, like, so yeah, 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 he played everything, everything, every fucking thing. But um, I do want to tell y'all to stay positive out here. Um, I'm not one of the people that's going to make 15 vlogs about this situation because it really does not pertain to the sport of battle rap. And it's about a battle rapper. But uh, I'm not going to really, like, harness in on this all day long. You know what I'm saying? With, with all due respect to both parties involved, let them go through their due process. If it's something that's legitimate and legitimizes and she proves it, you know what I'm saying? Because, and I'm not saying proves it because people's like, oh, we want the proof. Like, if it's something that the police are going to pursue, an arrest is going to be made, charges are going to be brought about. Because we know we had Kobe, we had Tupac, we had Mike Tyson. We've had so many brothers who have been in situations where they've been accused of raping somebody and then sometimes it's legitimate and other times it's just a ploy. So you're not going to act like women haven't had sex with men that have buyer's remorse about it afterwards. Like, oh, I didn't mean to do this, so now I'm pressing charges. Or a chick be have, have a boyfriend. I've seen this before. I know a cat I went to college with. He was messing with this girl. She had a boyfriend, her boy, a fiance. 
she was still out there. You know what I'm saying? She was out. She was for the streets. She was messing with somebody. She was messing with my, my one of my dudes that was in one of the classes with me. He was cutting her down. Homeboy found out. He broke the engagement off. She then flipped it like she got raped so that he could try to like console her. But then they found out through the messages and through everything else that it was more so consensual. She wound up getting in trouble for filing a false police report. And then, you know what I'm saying, do wind up cutting off anyway. But that's another story for another day, man. Y'all stay blessed out here. I'm gone. Yeah.